Well, hello again, and welcome back to my channel, where I'm documenting my journey on the Optivia 5-in-1 plan. And if you don't know what Optivia is, please feel free to contact me. My information is listed in the description box below. So today I am making a lean and green and it's one of the first lean and green recipes I made when I first started the program. And I wasn't sure I was gonna like it, but it turned out to be one of my absolute favorites. And what I'm going to make is chicken crust margarita pizza. And I've linked the recipe down in the description box and the recipe makes two servings. I am cutting that in half. So what I'm gonna need is four ounces of ground chicken breast. And I have that right here. So I actually have a meat grinder and when I get those big, huge chicken breasts, I cut them up into um, probably about eight ounce portions, seven, eight ounce portions. And then I also grind some for use in burgers and for this recipe. Like I said, the recipe makes two servings and it calls for eight ounces of ground chicken breast. So I have four ounces that I uh, pulled out of the freezer and defrosted. So, and to that, I add some Italian seasoning, some Parmesan cheese, and half an egg. And you use that to make the crust. And then you bake that chicken crust for about 20 minutes at 400. Now that's 20 minutes at 400 for the eight ounce size. So I'm probably gonna have to keep my eye on it just to make sure it doesn't burn. But like I said, I'm making a single serving. And so then after the chicken crust is made, then you put the rayos, use a quarter cup of rayos and reduced fat mozzarella cheese and tomato and basil. Now I don't have fresh basil, but I'm just gonna sprinkle some of my dried basil on there. And when all of that is said and done, it's one lean, two greens and two condiments. So I will have to have a third green. And I'm thinking of just having a little side salad, about a cup's worth of uh, lettuce and maybe some uh, tomatoes in there. And even though it says it's one lean, it is using ground chicken breast. So that is generally a leaner. So I am going to have a little bit of light salad dressing on that side salad. So let me turn down the camera and get started. i 
All right. Here it is. And I did end up cooking this for the full 20 minutes. So now the next step is to put a quarter cup of the Rayo's tomato basil or whatever tomato sauce you are using. Um, and then we put a quarter cup of the reduced fat mozzarella. And then I have cut up um, some tomatoes. I have these, um, these sweet pops. These are delicious. They're like candy. So I cut up some of those and then um, I sprinkle that on top with some basil and then we put it back in the oven for about seven to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get started with that. All right, so I just got done eating my lean and green and it was absolutely delicious. I haven't made that in so long and I don't know why, it's not hard. So for my third green, I had a cup of lettuce with a few tomatoes thrown in there and I used one tablespoon of the Ken's light balsamic dressing. Now, technically I get two tablespoons for a healthy fat but since about half of my protein was chicken breast and the other half was cheese, I figured I better just use one tablespoon. So just to update you, I am still trying valiantly to stay on the five and one. I will have to say though, I am struggling a little bit. My daughter and I are headed to Orlando for a few days in about a week or so and I am going to pack some fuelings and try to be as much on plan as I can be. We are staying in a condo, so I should be able to make some healthy meals and prepare my fuelings. So I'm a little excited for that. We love Harry Potter. So we are going to go uh, one day to Universal and that place is just incredible. It has two parks, Universal and Islands of Adventure, and they run the Hogwarts Express back and forth between the two parks. And then Universal has um, Diagon Alley, and it's like you are walking right onto the movie set. It's incredible. And Isle of Adventure has Hogwarts and Hogsmeade, which is also really cool. And then one day we are gonna go to Epcot, and it's been years since I've been to Epcot and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Mandy, my daughter says that they have a really great Guardians of the Galaxy ride there. I'm excited to see that. So I also know that I'll be doing a lot of walking when I'm in Orlando. 
So I am looking forward to getting some exercise there as well. But yes, I think one of the things that I struggle with the most is that I really still love to drink wine. And on the weekends, it's hard. I mean, during the week, I'm busy and, and it's not a problem. But then, you know, Friday night rolls around and I want a glass of wine. And I have been caving and I really need to work on that. I'm never going to reach my goals if I don't just focus. And, you know, now when I'm trying to be on plan and I drink wine, I mean, it takes like two glasses of wine and I'm asleep. So <laughs> that's no fun either. But I've been working on trying to have the LaCroix or club soda and lime instead when I go out. It's just hard. It's one of the things that Mike and I really liked to do together. So I'm working on it. I'd love to know what your biggest triggers are. Please leave a comment below and let me know what your triggers are and what you do to handle them because I would really like to know. Having the support of my coach and the other members of the Revive Tribe has been priceless and I do lean on them from time to time. But any pointers that you guys have that gets you through when you're struggling, I'd love to know. So if you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. I am going to say goodbye for now and I will see you next time.